Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you all how to compare two different folders and generate a comparison report. So here I have two folders, one is called the image folder and one is called the text folder. And they have a bunch of files. Some of the files are present in both the image and the text folder, some of the files are only present in the image folder, and some of the files are present only in the text folder. So how do we display all this information into a text file? Let's see. So first off, we import the module called file cmp. It is a built-in module which means you do not have to install it. After that we create a path variable so that we can pass in the location of our folders and after that we will create a comparison object so that we can compare the two folders. So inside file cmp there is a function called dirt cmp and the dirt cmp takes in two arguments. Uh, the two arguments are which folders are we comparing. So we're comparing image and text. So let's pass in the path of the image and text folder. So path plus image, comma, path plus text. So these are the two folders we're comparing. After that, we want some of the specific information like the common files between the two folders. So we create a variable to store this information. So to get this information, we just use comparison.common. Common is an attribute from the dir cmp function which holds this information. But the problem here is uh, the information uh, comparison.common returns a list, but we want a string so that we can write it into our text file. So to convert it from a list to a string, we will use the join function. And we need to tell it what or what, what do we join the different elements with. So I'm going to join the elements with a comma and space. So basically what the join function will do is it will take an element from the list which comparison.common generates and then it will put a comma space and then take another element and join it and then it will repeat it again and again until there are no more elements left. So now common file common files variable has all the information of all the common files between the two folders. We need to just repeat it for all the files which are in image folder, all the files which are in the text folder. So for the image folders, let's call them the left only files because as you can see, image folders on the left hand side, text folders on the right hand side. And so we do the same thing. We use a join function and we use a different attribute called left only. Now this will, uh, this variable will hold all the files which are only on the left folder, which is the image folder. And we do the same, uh, and we call it write only files. Use the join function again to convert it into a string. Only difference is we use the write only attribute because the write only attribute contains information to all the files which are present only in the text folder. Okay, so now we have all our information. We need to now write it into a file. To do that, we use with open and we pass in the path of our new file. Let's call the new file folder underscore diff dot txt. And we need to open it in the write mode pass in w because we need to write some information into this file and we call it as uh, folder report so folder report is our file object now using folder report we can write some information into it so let's write all the common files first so common files colon space put an addition operator and pass in the variable common files so now all the common files will be displayed next to the common files. So, and we also need to pass in a new line so that all our information is not cluttered. To do that, we pass in slash n. We do the same for all the uh, files which are present in the image folder. Now, I put another slash n so that we can leave some space between the two informations and here the header let's call it only in image folder and now we pass in the variable um, left only files 
and again we pass in a slash n to leave some space repeat this again folder report dot write slash n addition operator now we're going to pass in only in text folder and then we pass in the variable write only files save this let's run this okay it has run and you can see folder dot diff dot folder underscore diff dot txt has been created let's open this and here you go you see the common files contains only uh, these are the common files which are present in both only an image folder oh wait I forgot to put the colons and space and that's why you can see that it's all cluttered up let me just do it one more time sorry about that colon and space let's run it one more time now it should look better okay now it looks better so common files and then you have the two common files between the two folders only an image folder now these two uh, fold uh, these two files frog1.png frog1.pdf are only in the image folder and in the text folder there are a bunch of files which are only present in the text folder and I can actually open up the files folder to show you that you see uh, these are uh, the files which are only in the text folder and these are only the files which are in the image folder but as you can see text uh, underscore file underscore one is present in both of these folders that's why it is present under the common files this one is actually just a file in the background which is present in the folders so anyway so uh, this is uh, the information which is now stored in your text file so it's a pretty decent and simple comparison report and uh, let me just go through the code one more time so you we use the module called file cmp and then we use the dir cmp function to compare the two folders and then we use attributes common left only right only to find the information we need we convert them to a string and then we create a new file and we pass those strings we write those strings into the file and here is your file this is your comparison report so I hope this uh, video has helped you. If you have liked it, please uh, share it with your friends. Comment below if you have any other questions or uh, any suggestions for future videos. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. That would really help. Uh, and see you again soon. Thank you very much.